Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use the WEPROM or EPROM with the ESP32 microcontroller. So how we can do that? First of all, you must know that what an EPROM is or WEPROM is. It is an abbreviation for electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. So why we are supposed to use it if we have certain other memories inside the microcontroller because if your microcontroller used to reset or if it will become shut down or if the power is gone then the usual memories will will be vanished okay but this doubly prom used to uh, store its value permanently so how we can use it we have to write voc v in the google and it will lead us to the Vokfi online simulator and here we need to search for ESP32 and here it is so we need to click on it so on right hand side it is our circuit part and on left hand side it is our programming window uh, one more thing that uh, why we are supposed to uh, why we are not uh, going to attach any sort of other component with the ESP32 because we don't need it okay here we are just uh, because uh, this microcontrollers do not require any sort of power for our ESP32. So we will just focus on our programming. So here we will write hash include wprom.h. Uh, this is the header file or library file for the wprom. So why we, we are supposed to import this sort of library why it is so because this sort of library yeah because this sort of library used to give us or used to provide us a lot of functions related with the use of eprom so we have to uh, import it out like this okay so this is for importing of library now now we will re define the memory size that how much bytes we are supposed to use inside the ESP32. So we write uh, h define double prom double prom underscore size and one. Okay. So this is size means that we we just need to okay we just need one byte okay for of one byte storage. In wide setup, we need to call one function and that is called as doubly prom dot begin now what is this thing obviously we, we we must need an initialization function or a begin function for a lot of microcontrollers and sensors so we are not going into the technicalities that uh, what sort of inner functionalities this function has but if you want to use the prom you need to write this function after this has been done, we will move towards our while loop function and it will run repeatedly. So we are just supposed to write first, we will write certain things like wprom.write. And here we need to write the that where we want to store our thing. The first parameter is the address okay and the second second parameter is any data so here first is the address that on zeroth index or on zeroth address we want to store this integer 5 so this write function will write the integer 5 data on location 0 that is byte 0 so after this has been done, we need to write wprom dot commit wprom dot dot commit wprom dot commit. Now we will run it out. What they said, no matching function or call for eprom class wait, we, we have to write 
doubly prom dot commit and doubly prom dot write zero comma five. Okay, here they said e prom dot begin. Okay. Okay. Uh, here, here we we need to give the size as a parameter. Okay, so so we need to write control C and here control V. Okay, it it will accept the uh, eprom dot begin will need the size of the eprom for its proper functioning. So we will run it out. We have to wait as it is an online simulator so so now it is running properly okay now uh, this function dot commit function and dot write 0 comma 5 has wrote the data on this particular address location okay now we will read that out so for it we will write doubly prom dot read doubly prom dot read comma address that, that where we have written it out okay and obviously we want to serially print it out so we will write serial dot print ln and this thing and we also need to write delay uh, wait uh, delay of 1000 so now we will run it out now they said five okay because of integer five has been stored on location zero so now it is reading properly so we can even write here that uh, serial dot dot print ln the stored data is the stored data is the stored data is this thing so now we will run it out so because this read function will read the data on location 0 the stored data is 5 so hopefully you got the concept that how you can write and read the data on wprom of esp32 so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.